In this video, we're gonna be using Matty Lindholm Shaving Supplies, his uh, lime, and also there's some orange in here too. I've, I've got them both in the same tub. And the J.A. Helberg, let me actually show you the razor, straight razor that was also sent to me by Matty Lindholm. So stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB. Thanks so much for joining me again today. And as you can see, I have two days of growth and not my normal day. I was gone over the weekend visiting uh, with my mom. We'll talk a little bit about that. Had a good time. Uh, had a really excellent time, but this is irritating the mess out of me because this is probably like 50 hours growth, two days, and as you can see, a lot more salt and pepper than usual, and I do not like it. As mentioned before, this is Maddie Monday, so we're going to be using the Maddie Lindholm Shaving Supplies soap, and what I'll do in a minute is just wet my face, and I'm going to use this sort of like a shave stick, and then I'll maybe load the brush from it a little too. We're also going to use the J.A. Helberg razor that uh, Matty sent me, which he has refurbished. So we're looking forward to trying his edge for the first time today. That should be very exciting. But before we get into it, let's sanitize the platform with some Hega. This is a Swedish aftershave and uh, Matty really enjoys this. So we thought we would honor Matty by using it. Marion the Barbarian uh, sent this to me kindly. Thank you, Marion. Legit, kind, and good dude, Marion. So... I know uh, people in the past, you know, Marion sent so many things to people. They were like, what are his motives? And I can tell you, he's just a nice guy. And he's, 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 he's just a nice guy and he loves to, to help people. And uh, he's someone that I consider to be a friend. So we've got the, the Planet Platform Santa does. And let's go ahead and wet our face. A little misting. This is just plain water in a mister. Again, links below. If you are interested in Maddie Lynn Home products, Marion is your guy. I will link his channel below. He usually has access to some of those. He gets orders from time to time. So I'm going to rub this in, kind of like a shave stick. And this one, I believe, is the lime. Hopefully, I didn't get that on my nose. You can't always see super well, but let's just work this in a little bit. And maybe we'll even load off the puck a little bit if need be, but who knows if that'll be necessary. These soaps, simple ingredients. There's only... Soy wax, coconut oil, shea butter, water, essential oils, lime scent. So not a not a ton of um, ingredients. And I'm not, you know, it's not a 12 butter type shaving soap. Let's mist again. And then let's, uh, today we're using our Gray Dog brush. Thank you very much, Gray Dog. And we'll just get a little face lather action going today. May have to add a little more hydration because my brush is not super wet. There we go, a little more hydration, and I may even lo load from the, the putt, but uh, boy, I'm happy to be getting this off my face because when it grows for more than a day, it starts being very itchy, especially on my neck, and I really don't care for it. So no one is happier than me to be get <laughs> getting this growth knocked out, of, knocked down, and also, I'm super happy to be using Maddie's Edge for the first time. And he gifted me this razor. So thank you very much, Maddie. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to using this. He is a, Maddie's a kind person, very nice person. All he does is give, give uh, good vibes to people, uplifting. I'm gonna load a little bit from the pup too, just for our next pass. Maddie is just a genuine kind guy. He has helped me a lot with a straight razor technique. And I really appreciate him. Um, so thank you very much, Maddie. We put just a little more of the soap in there. Let's rinse the hands. And I am uh, I'm a little discombobulated because I've had a sort of a whirlwind weekend, which I did enjoy. Like I said, I spent some time with my mom, my dad, my mother-in-law, and of course, you know, my wife. Um, and there are a lot of health issues in the family. My mom's getting ready to have a procedure this coming week, um, fairly serious. And so, um, if you believe in thoughts, prayers, and good vibes, I certainly would appreciate that. And she would too. Okay. Let's get going with our Maddie Lindholm edge, which is, wow, that's nice. It's nice. I can tell already it's cutting well. And as you can see, it's really removing that. I want to say this is about Maybe a little over 50 hours, two days, a little over two days worth of growth. And it's removing it very, very nicely. 
Very nice indeed. Um, wow. So <laughs> now that I've tried Maddie's Edge, what would we say about Maddie's Edge? Thumbs up. Or as Maddie would say, I like it very much. <laughs> That's a nice edge. He definitely knows what he's doing. Um, really nice indeed. Make sure we get a little stretching here. All right. No problems whatsoever with the sharpness of this edge. It feels sharp, but also smooth, which is exactly what I like. I really like it a lot. So that is nice. One thing I also wanted to touch on is, um, my mother lives about five hours from here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And the procedure, because of the Rona, I'm not even stretching, am I? No. Uh, visitation is minimal. My sister, who lives in Charlotte also, will be able to be there. But she is basically chained to the hospital because if she leaves, she cannot come back. And you can only, they only allow one person. And so, even though my mother is not affected by the Rona, she is definitely affected by the policy. Um, as I mentioned before, um, last week or maybe the other day, my aunt and uncle currently have the Rona as well, and we hope the best from them for them. I haven't gotten an update on them um, recently, but I need to check with my mom on that and see how they're doing. But folks, the impact of the Rona stretches far beyond just those who actually get it. And so in the, in the case of my family, my mother has never had a procedure in her life. The only time she's ever been in the hospital was when she gave birth to her children. Um, and so it's kind of a, a scary thing for her. And she can't really have the support around her in the hospital because of the Rona. So again, even if you find yourself to be a you know, non-believer in how devastating this illness um, has been, think about the folks who have loved ones in the hospital or maybe someone who's in a nursing home who they can't see. And uh, I know Tom Brim um, lost his father just the other day and it made it difficult for people to see him when he was in a, a nursing home as well. His uh, his son, Zach, was very close to him, and it made it kind of difficult at times to visit. And so this is really affecting a lot of people, which, which is why I'm saying now more than ever, your kindness and consideration is appreciated, you know. It really is. And uh, I think, uh, uh, by the way, I want to mention for those of you who are fellow content creators, you know I try to keep up and support you. I probably won't be able to catch up on the videos that I missed this weekend for obvious reasons, um, you know, visiting. Um, but one, one of the things I did catch, I was able to watch the replay of the Real Talk where uh, David Gonzalez had Douglas Smythe on. And uh, that was a good show. And I will get it on the channel uh, for you guys to watch if you missed it. But anyway, uh, one of the things David said at the end, I thought was very, very wise. And he said, don't allow being right to affect your relationship. Um, I'll expand on that in just a moment. But what he was trying to get at is, don't allow pursuing um, being right uh, in a way that you don't get it right. In other words, if you're hurting people in the process, if you're tearing people down in the process, maybe think about doing it. Another way, that was, I'm going to do something different and go sort of across on this pass. Um, I thought that was very interesting. So what David was saying was, make sure not only that you are right, but you're getting it right. And don't allow it to affect the relationships with people that you hold in high esteem or friends. And, and I couldn't agree with that more. And I will say, I have been guilty of this in the past, pushing, pushing, pushing to be right and to show that I'm right and someone else is wrong to the degree that it affected someone adversely. And those are the things in life that that I'm really not proud of, you know? And so when David says something like that, I thought about that and I was like, you know what? He really is on something there. He 
it's really important to get it right, which, which means pursue being right, pursue what is right, but hopefully you'll p pursue it in a way that doesn't leave a lot of carnage in your wake, you know what I mean? Like I said before, I've left some carnage um, in my wake. And those are the things that I regret, honestly. Um, and I, I do it to this day, and sometimes I do it with my wife, and it hurts her feelings. And then I end up apologizing because I feel like a, an arse. And so I need to take some of that advice also. Because a lot of times I'm an absolute, absolutist when it comes to being right and... I don't take people's feelings and emotions into account. And that is not good. That is not good. And so I want to redouble my efforts to, to uh, heed David's advice as to not let being right hurt people um, I've developed relationships with and people that I care about. And so thank you very much, David. So sharp, David for that little nugget because it is something that I need to work on personally. So thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Um, and I think it's something that we can all effort to do is just be more kind. And when we're pursuing <laughs> something, let's make sure we're not leaving a, a trail of carnage in the wake, which certainly can happen. I want to say one thing right now. I am happy to be getting this off my face and tomorrow I won't have as much growth because I'm going to get right back on shaving at my normal time. So tomorrow we'll probably have something like 18 hours growth or something. So it'll be less, but I'll use a DE. I got a little bit out of sequence because I had to be away, but that's okay. And I know I got a, a several messages from people, encouraging messages after my unboxing video. And I did get a little emotional during that video. I apologize. I am not an emotional person. But I sort of was emotional um, that day. Um, several things happened that sort of, uh, you know, I had I had the, the health things going on. Then I had some really uh, disappointment uh, at some things that occurred and it really bothered me. Um, and so when David said, when he said that, uh, when he had that line about getting it right um, versus being right, I was like, you know what? That is so accurate and it applies to me too. And this is a fantastic edge. And by the way, this soap, if you're wondering, fantastic. Absolutely love it. Again, check with Marion if you want to, if you want to get it, he often has it in stock or Maddie will send him shipments and then he will uh, Move those on. I don't get into the cost and, and anything like that because Matt is just a hobbyist. He's not looking to do it for uh, really making money. It's just to help fund his hobby. Just like a lot of us who, you know, monetize and use affiliate links and so on, we do it to, to fund our hobby. As you know, if you're a regular making maker of content, it does get quite expensive. So we appreciate all your views, all your support, the folks who contribute on Patreon, the the likes, the subs, uh, all those things really make a lot of difference. And for me, they allow me to pursue the hobby because otherwise I just could not, quite frankly. So thank you very much. I'm very appreciative for that. And uh, so I hope you'll also support Maddie in his endeavor because uh, when you buy soap, from Maddie, then you're just helping him to um, pursue his hobby as well. And, you know, I think that's wonderful. And they have certainly been kind to all of us. And so we, we certainly want to try to return that support. So he's a guy who has really personally helped me with, especially with technique. Um, so thank you, Maddie. And your edge is magnificent. Um, it's it's really smooth um, while being sharp at the same time. And so I don't know what Maddie honed this on. I know it came with instructions that just basically said, the instructions said, uh, just, it's already been struck. All you need to do is remove the oil and so on. 
I'll let my lather dry a little bit so let's apply some moisture there. But um, uh, excellent edge. I've really enjoyed it. This will be a razor that I will keep and uh, remember Maddie Lindholm each time I use it. It is uh, These sort of things are really treasures. When you receive these sort of gifts from folks and, and they come from the heart, um, it, it's really uplifting. It means a lot. And you know, the other day when I was having a pretty crap day, it, it really did boost my... Uh, boosted my spirit, you know, because <laughs> as much as I'm capable of being down, I was, you know, on when, when you saw that unboxing video. And if you haven't seen it, go back and watch it and you'll understand. And I'm not somebody who's particularly sensitive, so. But I will say when I am, you know, when I give you my time, and the folks that I spend a lot of time with, it really means something. Like it means I, I care about you. I'm investing uh, in you because I like you. And so just know that the most precious thing I can give you is my time. And so I hope you appreciate it. And I, on the, uh, on the same token, I really appreciate the time that you give me. And I say that not every day, but I hope I mention that your time means the world to me as well. Those of you who come to view, those of you who reach out, um, thank you very much. Let me rinse. We'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we're back with the Magic Made by Witches. And that mowed down that growth with no problem at all. Again, this is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber, just in a spray bottle. Excellent stuff. I just ordered three more, a three-pack, because I go through this stuff. It's one of my most used products of all time, Thayer's Witch Hazel. So Maddie's Edge was fantastic. Um, if you are in Europe, especially... If you're looking for a guy that to restore or hone your razor, I highly recommend Matt, Matty Lindholm. I will link his channel below. We also used his soap, which was the uh, Lime Matty Lindholm Supplies. We love Matty. We love you, Matty. <laughs> and if you don't know that, I hope you do. Use the Gray Dog brush. We love Gray Dog too. This is another, both these things are treasured gifts that I will keep. Um, both kind gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you, the viewer, as well. I, I can't thank you enough and all the kind messages that, I, that I've received uh, lately, um, especially. Finishing off today with Hega. Toxic waste, as Maddie likes to call it. I like this stuff. I know John Shaves 101. I didn't enjoy it, but I do like it. It's To me, it's got a, just a nice, clean, citrusy sort of vibe to it. And I like it, like Maddie does. And uh, just want to say... Thank you to everybody. Remember, I want to continue to reiterate this, especially in these times. When there's an opportunity to be kind, take it. And remember, it's important not always to, to it's important not only to be right, but to get it right. Get it right. Be careful. Don't leave a trail of carnage in your wake when you're trying to, to be right. I, I think those are wise, wise words that I need to Focus on personally, and I hope you will too. Thank you so much for watching. I have really enjoyed this shave, and I, I'm happy to be back. And uh, just just wishing you all the blessings that I have to offer, which is massive, massive love, massive blessing. Thank you again. I'm your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.